Yo, this is Binky the Hunter. Today we'll be doing Laura's archery missions of the Summer Fiesta 2021. And let's have a look. Harvest an unspooked Bantang with a bow crossbow. It's all bow crossbow, of course. Archery. Polar bear, more than 27 with a bow crossbow. A wild boar, shot to bow flanks. Other organs may be hit. Okay. Female puma. Mm -hmm. That could take some time. That's just having a bit of luck finding one real quick. Moose, single shot. No male, female, okay. Rocky Mountain Elk, weighing more than 250 kgs. Well, every bull weighs more than 250 kgs, pretty sure. Charging bison, that's very easy. That's mostly how I hunt the bisons. I run towards them and then they charge you and I shoot them with a bow. So that's my normal way of hunting bisons, actually. Perfect. And feral goat. From more than 30 meters, more, okay. I think last video I, I read it wrong, I said under, but from more than 30 meters, so that's actually very easy. You can just try some 200 meter shots, and <laughs> if you take enough arrows, you hit it eventually. So, <laughs> no, I'll try to get a little closer, of course, but more than 30 meters, that makes it a lot more easier. So, yeah, two and a half thousand gems very nice so activate and I think I'll just start at the top or yeah the moose and the bison are on one map and the elk and the puma but they're in different areas so I just start at the top let's go uh, pick a bean bait Okay, on Pikabin Bay, it's very nice weather, <laughs> and even more rain. <laughs> I bought a crossbow, I uh, brought a crossbow, bought it a long time ago, and what the hell is that? Damn, can't stop this animation, come on, Bantang, female, I think I'm gonna go for that. I was planning to go through the tunnel, but this is so close. There's our bantang, 124 meters, but in the rain, the wind is so much more in the rain, rain so I don't dare to take that shot yet. Get a little closer. And damn, the rain is loud here. Bantang. I hate that glitch. I should really fix that. <laughs> no, I can't see it anymore. Damn. I could have taken that shot if he wouldn't be bouncing like some kind of disco maniac. Hey, that sounds hopeful. I think I'm gonna take the crossbow for this. What? What was that? <laughs> that sucked. I think we hit him in the leg now, or maybe intestine, but... Sneaky bastard. Intestine. Well, all the way in the back probably, so that will take a very long to die, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. Find another one, I'll shoot that, but... Yeah. Bring you back when I do something useful. Hmm. just went down right over there and it didn't even take long actually 
she dead as well yeah okay I didn't expect that okay we arrived on white rhyme ridge I took the the pulsar I took the 10 point again I got the buffalo rifle with me and the 7 mil and I started at my goose setup right I already see a bison haha <laughs> nice I started right here I'm gonna look for a bison and a moose here and then I'm gonna fast travel up here and see if we can get a polar bear somewhere maybe even fast travel here but I'm not sure yet let's first go get that bison over there okay for the next part I have to explain a little something I don't know what went wrong with these files but for some reason the next yeah the next two clips are really stuttering like crazy and I noticed later I'm going to bush rangers run there it also happens but there I can edit most of it out but here is actually the kill of the moose and the bison that are very laggy so I edited most out but it's still I have to show this for the, for the video sakes to shoot the bison and the moose but it's crap so just so you know here we go there's two bisons here this is the biggest one both are female so and I switch to the 10 point it has to be charging so they take pauses when they charge and I think it doesn't count it has to be running at me the moment I shoot so and the crossbow you can just keep aimed forever come on charge me here we go uh oh now I'm gonna die <laughs> how did we do is it a body hit <laughs> I was very lucky not to die there actually ah nice it was a better hit as I thought what did we hit uh, we'll see it here I think it's intestine. So we must have hit the liver and anything, everything behind that. I think. Oh, even lung. Nice. But that should count. Yes. But like I said, I think they do. They take those pauses when they, when they flee, uh, when they charge you, and I think when they're standing still, then it doesn't count. I think that's the other one she went all the way over there shall I shoot her with this no let's go look for a moose bring you back when I uh, do something useful That should be the moose. Didn't say male or female, so. Yes, that counts. So, next objective is up here. Sometimes you get a polar bear call right away, and it would be extremely useful now, but. Nope. Bring you back when uh, I do something useful. from here it gets better again and yeah I don't know what it was I didn't notice anything in the game I do get some lag sometimes but then I just yeah or wait for it recording especially in single player but yeah this was just running fine so it was something in OBS or maybe my PC was doing something in the background I have no idea but from here it gets better 
and yeah like I said later it will do it again on bush ranges a bit but I can think I can edit most of that out so you won't even notice that so let's keep going hmm there is a polar bear close to the lodge but that won't do it that's a female that's too bad so let's ignore that and go and look for a bigger one There we have a male, 29, 24 to 29. But my scoring, my spotting level is extremely low. So, but like I said, I think the males always are 27 or higher, but I'm not sure. So, let me know in the comment if you know if you hunt them a lot, what's normal for male bears, but. He's coming to shore, so with a bit of luck. But getting close enough for a shot could be tricky. Still very far away, actually. So I'll bring you back when I get closer. Let's see. I also, I have to be careful where to go on those ice sheets because you can just enter anywhere and when you fall between them you actually die of hypothermia so there you are he's actually getting kind of close so than 10 meters but he turned around he's going away from me again so that's a bit bit of a downside but Man, he's only getting further away. Stupid bear. 69 meters, okay. Please stay there. Oh, that was stupid. I, <laughs> I hunt bows too much lately. I pressed the button right away. I'm lucky I even hit him. Well, lucky. Maybe even not, because he might die in a place now where I can never ever reach him. And yeah, hit him in the leg, so that will take forever. That was really stupid. Why did I do that? Because I hunt boats too much. <laughs> with bows you can press the button and when you release you shoot. And with the crossbow as soon as you yeah, touch the button it shoots. So that was really stupid. A few moments later, one eternity later, three days later, twelve seconds later, three twenty-eight a.m.
Damn bear, die! <laughs> tomorrow, tomorrow for sure. Eventually, uh, twelve o'clock midnight. Still not that, man. What? Did he go down? Really? I literally played guitar for half an hour, I did my laundry, I ate something, and he was still alive. But I think he died. One big lesson and tip of the day is when you get a shot like this, don't wait for the <laughs> polar bear to die, it takes forever. Finally, here he is. It's a hell to get here as well. All those little cracks between those ice sheets, you can fall between them, so... And now he's not 727. He is. Okay, very nice. 27.9. So, that counts for my mission. It doesn't look this long in the video probably, but literally... Oh, I forgot to check the wound time. Damn, I should check that. You guys probably can now, but I'm gonna check the stats and go and look at it. And get the hell out of here, because I've seen enough of White Rhyme Ridge. Okay, next is Hirschfelden, a wild boar with a double lungs must be hit, so both lungs must be hit, that was it. Hey, nice. First one I found since I, since I activated that thing, so that should count for, yeah, the vegan mission. And there's a road here. I'm gonna kill that first. Let's aim before we press the button this time. Might be a good idea. Boom. Perfect. But that's not very interesting, so I'll harvest it off camera and bring you back when I find some piggies. This should count for the vegan mission. Don't ask me what's vegan about it, but... Yes. Nice. Finally. There's some piggies. What 
walked almost 2000 meters already <laughs> found tons of tar um, ptarmigans <laughs> pheasants and roe deer but not a single pig I don't get it let's see how far are they I'm gonna use sand spray I think we should best do it on this little mountain here, on this little hill. I'm also gonna use sand spray so I can make sure they go to a certain position or location. they coming yeah they are but they are very slow so I think I put down the sand spray here or something I go lay on that little mountain there <coughs> give me some elevation and when they stop here that should give me a perfect broadside shot so but it will take a while before they get here they trot very fast and when they roam they also start trotting all the time they're very fast but as soon as you start calling them in the pigs are one of the slowest animals to come in I think like turkeys take forever But yeah, we're not going anywhere, so bring you back when they're close. Here they are. Four females and a tiny male. Twenty meters is perfect. Let them walk a little bit more forward. So we have the perfect broadside shot. I think we can even wait for the male. Let's do that. It isn't worth much, but more as those girls. <laughs> for the shot. Now oh, he turns away a little bit. Bastard. Here we go. Hey, what's he doing? Man, he's annoying. Okay, we're gonna shoot one of the other ones. One's gonna charge me. Oh. <laughs> it was great loading your bow when you almost get charged by a pig. We hit the lungs, and I'm guessing we hit the perfect double lung shot. So, but yeah, the big one. Uh, didn't want to cooperate well the big one <laughs> and this is perfect double long so this should count yes nice took me a while to find some pigs but yeah that's just the RNG gods didn't like me today There we have some goats. Let's try to get a little closer. There's a goat there at 31 meters. So that should work, right? 
Boom. There goes another one. There's quite a lot of goats in the area. And I got some lag, I see, so. Let's see. Over 30 meters, so. I range it real quick. I think it was 31. But just before I'm sure, I'll be very careful not to spook anything here. 31.2 meters. Perfect, that should count. Yes. Nice. Okay, back on Timbergold Trails with my little friend Rico here. Got the 7x64 and got the Pulsar and I took the reverse draw crossbow this time. So let's see if we can find a Puma and bring you back when I do something useful. Okay. There somewhere. Where are you? There you are. How big are you? Up to 190. Mm. Nice. There was another ram there somewhere. A smaller one. I don't see him anymore. Let's see. We get for this one. 100 kg. 165.5. Put my mail. That's not what I'm looking for. Let's go for it anyway. I fast travel to the mountain up here. So that will pay for my camping supply <laughs> here he is 93.2 15.78 that's a pretty decent one <laughs> nice gems gonna take a picture And this Puma also <laughs> completed my uh, my series on the Puma missions. <laughs> I didn't even realize what this one was. My last Puma mission, shoot a Puma um, weighing more than 92 kg, 100% harvest value. So, there we go. And the next Puma I find is another male, a small one this time, but... I think he's down, right? Or did I hit the rock? <coughs> I think I hit the hitbox of the rock. did hit him. Very nice. Fifteen point two eight. Nice gems again. Well, not much luck on the Puma so far. So this time I thought I'd go and see if I could find Rocky Mountain Elk over 250 kg but like said before every male is over 250 kg
and there is a very small chance there is a puma here as well sometimes but let's harvest this elk oh. exit still be a bit careful but I think I'll head back up in the mountains again because bigger chance of puma there 338.4 that's a very heavy one actually but score is not much and that should count perfect nice there's the puma it's about 40 meters but I can't aim higher okay Got the crossbow. Too bad that bush is there, otherwise I would have taken the shot. Let's hope this all goes well. I had quite some trouble to find a female. Normally you find only females when you're looking for males, and now, of course, only males. But finally found one. And there it is. Let's see. It should be right about there, I think. Wait, where is it? Catch my breath. Perfect. Nice. That should be the archery missions completed. 21 meters. A little bit closer as I thought, but double lung, perfect. And let's see. Yes, Laura's archery missions completed. Very nice. Took some time, but. Okay. That's the archery missions complete. And next we have Crockett's handgun missions. And here we get the trophy, the heated tent, 250 EMs, that's cool. And let's see, harvest a black bear from less than 25 meters. Fleeing water buffalo. Black tailed deer from tower treasoned. Oh, this one can't be the shooting rest, I think. But also no problem. Unspooked sandbar deer. Coyote scoring more than 45. It's tiny so that's no problem. Eurasian lynx. Okay. Bighorn sheep without hitting the intestines. Mm, also easy I would say. And a brown bear weighing more than 350 kg with a handgun. Okay. I think I will just fill up my feeders for the black bear. That also gives me a good place where I can do this one with the black tail there. And fill up the brown bear feeder as well. So just so because I'm lazy and I can do this as fast as possible. But yeah, that's all for the next episode. Let's activate it. And um, yeah, that's it for this video. We did it. So thanks for watching. And... Hope to see you guys next time.